diaphragm pumps construction working and uses on both ship there are lots of places where the diaphragm pumps are used the slide here shows the major places where you can very often find such diaphragm pumps the first one is the lifeboat bilge pump whenever the wastewater accumulates inside the lifeboat you got to pump it out with a reciprocating positive displacement pump which is usually the diaphragm pump some ships in case of blackout to start a generator there are pneumatically driven diaphragm pumps which pump diesel oil which ensures the generator can be started widely seen as boiler dosing pump that is dosing chemicals into the feed line of a boiler boiler igniter pump most of the time it is a gear pump but sometimes you can see diaphragm pumps too if the boiler size is very small and all samplers and analyzers like gas analyzers and smoke anal analyzers the diaphragm pumps are sometimes used by certain manufacturers these pump are very good in taking samples it can handle even air or any other gas so the rubber diaphragm is effective in creating vacuum so that the exhaust gases or the poisonous gases can be sucked in and sampled on the analyzers the recent gas carriers have oil mist detectors in the engine room there are two types one has a fan which creates suction and draws in the oil mist and other has a diaphragm pump which creates or draws the oil mist and then it is sampled other typical uses are pump room gas detectors on oil tankers hand pumps for miscellaneous services open lifeboats had fuel priming pump for the lifeboat engine there are fuel priming pumps sometimes the diaphragm pump is used as fuel priming pump and widely seen at freshwater chemical dosing that is exactly adjusting the quantity of chemical dosed into the freshwater generator line these are the typical uses so here is the constructional drawing of a simple diaphragm pump here is the manual handle and here is the hinge if i am going to lift up the handle the hinge is going to pull the piston along with the diaphragm here the diaphragm is made of simple rubber as the diaphragm moves up it creates vacuum and the inlet valve opens thus the fluid either water or sometimes air or gas fills up this place and i'm going to push this down now which closes the inlet valve and opens the outlet valve which ensures all the pressurized fluid gets out of this pump casing so that's the simple working of diaphragm pump here is one more arrangement which you can find exactly in the lifeboat here is the inlet hose or inlet line to the bilge pump and here is the outlet which goes overboard onto the lifeboat here is the handle and the hinge is connected to the piston which is again connected to the diaphragm and as i'm going to reciprocate this handle the diaphragm moves up and down thus creating vacuum and then pressure which in turn opens the inlet valve flap and the delivery valve flap thus pumping the bilge water out of the lifeboat so here are the various models of chemical dosing pumps or bilge pump which are driven by electric motor and it has an advantage of altering the stroke which means the amount of chemical which is going to be injected into the feed line of either the boil of water or even the fresh water generator thus we are going to see simple animation of how changing the eccentricity or the stroke of the pump is going to vary the quantity this is a simple working diagram of a boiler chemical dosing pump here is the knob with with which you can adjust the stroke or the quantity of chemical which is being pumped into the boiler feed line adjusting this knob adjusts the eccentricity of this rod which in turn adjusts the crank mechanism and then the stroke of the piston varies which again changes the amount of chemical which is being sucked and then pumped into the boiler feed line 
Upon seeing the animation, it will be clear how the turning the knob changes the eccentricity and thus the stroke of the pump is being altered, which finally delivers less amount of chemical as required.